Hey, what's up, guys? Welcome to another episode of Pat Taste Performance. Today in the garage, we're still waiting on a replacement microphone, so I'm trying to cut down on the uh, road noise, wind noise, is this echo blower in the bag, right? This is a common theme here. Um, this is Pat Taste Performance, found this in the garbage. I will show you a uh, couple of screenshots that she sent me when she found this on the way to work. The reason why it is in a bag, it leaked gas, apparently, and it cost us a beach towel. So I guess it's not free, it's whatever the replacement of a beach towel is. This thing looks brand new. Um, I'm almost tempted to maybe, I hate carburetor cleaning on two cycles, and I have these in stock. You know, we'll see, let's give this a run. So let's see um, where it's leaking out of, right? So if this is leaking gas, what she says is true, could be, um, Grommet lines, primer bulb, but the primer bulb would only leak if you pressurize it. Uh, what did I say? It's say tank cracked, fuel filter cap, tank grommet, fuel lines. Oh, and maybe the primer bulb pending if it is cracked or not. So let me just get this out of the bag and we'll see how old this thing is too. Oh, spark plug looks a little aged. Yeah, oh yeah, that's gas in the bag. Now, let's take a look at this gas in the bag. So, that will be that. Spark plug. So this is, it's got some age on the spark plug, even though it looks new. It is from, come on baby, focus. August of 2014. Primer bulb is right here. Ooh. No, that's water from being rained on. I have a feeling that that's more water. This fuel line is a little hard, but that should not be the issue. I'm thinking that maybe I'm leaning it on its side for the grommet. I'm thinking this thing's okay. Let's smell the gas. That gas is fresh. And it has a blue hue to it. So I wonder, I wonder. Right? If you guys are familiar with echoes, you guys already know what I'm thinking. So let's prime for a good time. And let's give it a run. <gasps> oh, ho, 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 ho. do not want to lose another camera. We have insurance, but that is not the case. Here. This is jammed. Wow. All right, so this is a PP250LN. Um, is the LN the one that shreds? This is locked up, right? So let's pull this bar plug out. Oh man, this is. Uh oh. Locked up. So let's uh let's get the uh socket for this. And we're just gonna free up the cylinder. You know what? I think I'm gonna spare you guys this. Look at this. This is dry and rusty. Oh no. This is still jammed. Hmm. Hmm. Let's spray some lube in there. And we'll let it sit. Maybe we'll try and and we will try and turn this <clears throat> by hand. I wonder if this was locked up because it was ran it was ran straight 
to gas in here. I mean, this is free. I mean, what do we have to lose? I wonder how much, you know, leak it off. Oops, excuse me. A top end kit is for that. I'm just going to take a peek down the cylinder. You know, let's, let's pop off this recoil and get a pair of pliers on here. Alright, so Viewing pleasure on the lift table. So we got some torque screws. I'm gonna try and access the flywheel and see if we can get this piston to move up and down. And then we could check for scoring. Well, I do have a spark plug in there just to hold the WD-40. But we're gonna see if we could move this piston up and down. And we'll start by taking off the recoil. Um, I don't know if I'm gonna try and go through the flywheel, but this is the most easily accessible for me, so we will go with that. We got this for free at the cost of a beach blanket. So I don't know, because it's such a great shape, is it really worth to do a cylinder kit on this, or a top end? But we shall see. I wonder if we even can get away with a light home, and then you set up range. Probably not to get involved in stuff like that because it's really just not worth it. This bow is worth maybe 100, 125 bucks. So, not a lot of room. This would be uh, more for YouTube, more for you guys than it is for me. But, you know, we shall see. We shall see. I'm still curious where she got this fuel leaking from. I wonder if it's just been this camera. This is a T25, by the way. Alright, we'll get these out. Alright, so let's get a pair of pliers and we're going to work this back. Oh, I moved already. So let's see if we can work past this hump. Alright, so we're making progress. We are making progress. We hope. This could maybe, hey, 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 look at that. What I'm thinking is, <clears throat> this happens a lot with equipment. Um, if it's not used, rust will build up. And that spark plug is rusty. So how'd water get in here, come on, focus. Focus, man. See that spark plug? A little rusty. So let's put this back in. I think we might actually have a winner. That gas is fresh. So that's kind of, you know, throwing me off a little bit unless they just put fresh gas in it and saying, hey, let's get this thing started. It's been sitting for a while. So we might have some luck. I'm not gonna bore you putting all four of these on, but I wanna see you guys as, I say this all the time, I'm not, see how I was doing the star pattern? And I'm not using any impact tools. I do not want to strip anything out. So let me get this back on, or for both. Uh, we'll give it the beans. All right, so all assembled, and let's get this up and down. See that? Yeah. that. You hear that puff? Whoa, we got it. Oh, we got it. 
That's compression. That is compression. Let's put this spark plug back in. Let me put uh, let me put some let me add some of my gas in there. I actually over mixed my gas, so little lube isn't gonna hurt nobody. All right, so fresh gas. Like I said, that gas is blue, so that's good. A little bit of that, and of course, you guys already know, right? We don't know how long this has been sitting enough, long enough for it to be seized up, but we're gonna throw some. Sea foam in there, help this carburetor. Just a capful. And we're good to go. So should I crank this thing a million times or should I just hit it with go-go juice and save myself the hassle? Prime for a good time. I am looking to see if any fuel is leaking out, as we've seen in the bag. I'm thinking that it was just mishandled. And uh How many poles do you guys think? Cool. Doesn't feel like it has. Doesn't feel like it has compression. Uh oh. I can't believe it. smoke was the WD-40 and the oil burning off. I do feel it is lacking some power. So I just want to check something real quick before we do. See this? This is where the gas was coming from. This smells like gas. So let's try it. If that's soap, it's not allowing airflow.
here. I'm just going to get that off on. All right, so let me show you something. I'm wrong. Mrs. Pate's performance is right. There is our fuel leak. One of the lines is split, just happens to be the vent. So you guys see that split right there? So no big deal, I am just going to cut it, shorten it, and put it back on. All right, so we got the plug out. I'm gonna adjust this off camera, it's kinda of hard to capture both. I do have an extra carburetor on the side. I will show you guys what I am talking about. So I'll fire it up. Under throttle, we have to adjust it. is as good as it's going to get um, unfortunately with this carburetor and let me just rummage through my stuff and hopefully I didn't throw them out because you guys you guys know uh, Mrs. Pate's performance uh, made me clean out this garage throw out lots of stuff because of good old Bruce Pender and Zippo Varga they were doing a series on their channel um, well, Zippo was doing a series on his channel of shop cleanup. And he says, hey pal, you need to get your stuff in here. And then she was chatting with Bruce Pender. And Bruce Pender says, 15 minutes, there's no excuse for your garage to look like a tornado has gone through it. And that is the Definition of mine. What is this? Nope. Red Max carburetor. I could have thrown it out, but I do keep these in stock. I should have one left. Let's see. Focus. Focus. Let me get some light in here. It's a lot of work to show you guys this. You see that brass plug? That is what you need access to. You need a small flat tip screwdriver to get to it. I have this broken um, screwdriver from Harbor Freight. Gets in there perfectly, as you guys can see, adjusted nice and nice. This machine is absolutely flawless. Um, pretty damn clean. This is from 2014. Um, not a big deal. This thing runs great. So uh, hopefully we get 125 bucks, that'll cover the expense of the blanket. So with that being said, I'd like to thank you guys for uh, come hanging out with me today, tonight, right after work. Um, Mrs. Pat Tate, of course, is gonna be super excited. Uh, you know, she always likes to be on the channel one way or another. If you guys like me, Mrs. Pat Tate's performance, you will catch her on our weekly live every Saturday, 8 a.m. to 9 a.m. Eastern time. Fantastic job, wifey. Special shout out to my parents for the lift table. Came in perfect. Um, but now I'm thinking, right, guessing my garage. I think I need to redo the lighting. I already done the lighting. See that? I just have two LED lights side to side. Amazon has like these crazy tripod lights. Maybe I will try those tripod lights Take these, take these bars down, maybe I'll put them someplace else, you know, maybe I'll throw them on the sides. And then I'll do the tripod lights throughout the middle and just have them pan out. No such thing as uh, too much light, especially when it comes to LED. So, got some uh, thinking to do. If you guys have suggestions, let me know.
Hey friends. Well, if you remember, this little handheld leaf blower was one of my free finds on my way to work one morning. Lovely little surprise for me a week after those two Toro lawnmowers that I couldn't haul away. <laughs> and uh, as they say, parting is such sweet sorrow, but not when you're making money. This girl and I are saying our goodbyes this morning to a lovely buyer who's about to come pick her up, about to meet a mutual location, seal this deal. I'm hanging out of my trunk because I have no time to spare. Uh, I'm not so good with like on camera. I don't have like a mount for the dash necessarily. I'll see what I can get at this sale later. All right guys, if you guys found this video helpful, entertaining, smash the like button, smash the subscribe button. Guess what? I'll see you guys on the next episode of Pate's Performance. Later.